Okay, this is an update on my son's car. This is a car that we had ordered out of a Finger Hut magazine. It was only 200 bucks. Kind of rip off if you ask me. It's kind of cheaply made. So I had to go through it and put in stiffeners and stuff to, to you know, for the for the frame and the body so the car wouldn't t tweak so bad. But um, the setup on this car, it's one-legged uh, powers, you know, one-legged power. Um, this is a transmission off of the car. It goes right on the, this goes on the shaft and the wheel has a little lock that this turns and then the motor. I had taken the older motor off of this. It was, it was um, a little bit smaller than this one. This here is an aftermarket motor I had put on here myself. Drilled the pinion out, uh, put the pinion on the motor. The shaft of this motor here was grooved so it was a lot easier to work with. Plastic pinion gear with no set screw. It just slid on really tight. So, And um, what we did is took all this off, took the 4.6 battery out, and we put a E500 uh, electric motor inside the car for him. We're in the wires back. It's got a stiffener. Here. It's got two screws, two bolts that hold it in on the other side. And there's a little man now. He's ready to ride. What we did is basically took the sprocket off of one of my old scooters that I had and direct mounted it to the wheel. Oh, wow. And then the motor comes right out of the side. Chains perfectly straight. All the way to the wheel. Super solid. And now it's uh, <clears throat> 24 volts. And this one, this motor is rated for 17, somewhere in there, to 20 miles per hour. But um, it's an E500 electric motor that come off of the Razor dirt bike. It's about a uh, 60 size, size-wise, 60 or 50, somewhere in there. But um, motor's pretty cool though, man. <laughs>